Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Delta, and in today's video, we will be going over Trey Lens's most recent update with the release of Ship Variant. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So with the new update, the entire Otter and Beaver family of ships have received new remodels. We can see these are all the new remodels of the Beaver and Otter class of family ships. They all look pretty nice, I must say. And with all of this, they all have slightly different uh, cannon layout. As you can see, the Fox no longer has its mortar. Alright, and if we go to the Phoenix, it's the same story here. So, with these new variants, these ships can be modified so that they can be specialized in different roles of combat. So if we go to the shipyard, we can click the modify ship button and then here you can see all the list of your ships that can be modified. So here I will go to my Phoenix and the Phoenix has the interceptor variant. Click on that and we see that with the interceptor variant, the broad size cannon size has been reduced but we can mount bow chasers now but unfortunately i don't think the phoenix can mount mortars anymore all right let's go check out the phoenix and look at its new base model right here all right as you can see there's no more mortar mount here and if you previously had a mortar on your phoenix it will display a message saying that this item has been returned to your inventory just like it has right here but now let's go check out the interceptor variant of the phoenix real quick all right let's modify our phoenix now into the interceptor variant Okay, so you need to remove all of your cans before you can modify it. So I'm going to go do that real quick. All right, now we can modify it into the interceptor variant, which is free. Let's do that. now we can mount bow chasers at the cost of a slightly smaller cannon size for the broadside but that's okay but uh yeah that's how variants work you can actually revert the variant back to its base form right here all right it's free to revert from the interceptor back to the base for the phoenix it, so we're gonna apply that right now and boom it's back to normal. Alright, moving on. Some other ships that have received variants include the Alliance, the Kirin, the Sigil, the Gargoyle, and the Fox. Alright, I'm going to briefly go over them real quick, alright? So, this is the base Gargoyle right here, and we have the Hauler variant. This is the cargo variant of the Gargoyle, so that's pretty nice. So. You lose some HP, but you gain more cargo as well, but you also lose some broadside firepower. Alright, moving on to the Kirin, now with its Brawler variant. It gets bigger broadside cannons, but it loses its chaser cannons, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but the broadside power compensates for it. Alright, and we go to the Alliance, and its Brawler variant includes a much bigger broadside firepower, but it loses its chaser as well. All right, and the Fox. The Fox has two variants right here. We have the Sentinel, which reduces the broadside cannon size, but adds certain chasers. And you have the classic ones, just like the old good days. 
And here, here you probably have the mortar still, and the same broadside cannons, you got the swivels, and then you got the stern cannons. Alright, and this is the beaver, this beaver has a sentinel variant as well. Same thing here, remove some broadside power, but you get some stern chasers too. Oh, I forgot to add that the classic variant of the fox will be available for a limited time, so if you want a classic fox, you might as well hurry up and get it, because it's going to go away soon. Alright, moving on. A forgotten member of the Otter class of family ships makes its return. And here it is. It is the Badger. Now, this ship was removed quite some time ago from the ship, right? But since the Otter class of family ships got a new remodel, it has made its return. But it's only available for a limited time. So, if you are a collector of ships, this ship might be for you. And if you don't know what the Badger is, it's just an engineless phoenix. So, here you go. You have the Badger here, and you have the phoenix. Alright, and these are its stats. The Badger probably isn't going to be of much use in combat, but as I said, if you are a collector of ships, this ship might be worth getting. Alright guys, and that is it. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below on which variant you like the most, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.